regarding the, the survey questions, uh, when we did our, uh, our needs assessment, we did a dry run of the survey questions. And it turned out that it was really um, not, not well received because we were working with the American Humane Association Children's Division out of Denver. And they came with a real uh, kind of a, a linear approach <laughs> That's good. Thank you. 
information on what we do have. And by the way, my information was given to rural addressing. So rural addressing has everything I have. And they, they did their Thank you. 
doesn't get done right here in one week. There's a man who's a Vietnam veteran in his family and a little bit corn and a little bit massacre and his home is black mold and he's, he's in his 80s. And I hurt my feelings to see that old man. Right over here, the first time, there's an old lady. She just got out of the hospital. She has a flu. And her house is infested with mice and, and uh, cockroaches and bed bugs. And no people in there to, to help her. And, and then uh, there, uh, I could talk about like a lot of these homes that I have went into. I don't feel it's my job to do your job. And then for you to go and ask, oh, we can hire one of our local people to go into those homes. No, you guys get paid for that. To go into our relatives' homes to do a job. And if you don't like your job, then maybe we need to have somebody else do it. Because a lot of us get good pay. Great mm -hmm. pay. So good little pay, you don't even want me videotaping or talking on QE radio. Even heard along the grapevine that they don't want to shoot me in my back, they want to shoot me in my head for what I'm saying. And all I'm telling you is, we love you guys. Our people voted you in because they cared. They did something good, like you did something good in somebody's life, so, so today you have a job to take care of our loved ones. But if that's too hard, then we need to tell our people so that somebody else can do that job. That's not good. That's not okay to sit in front of this white man from Washington and tell him about all these problems when they should have already been fixed. I'm sorry to have said that like that. But I'm just a chicken. I'm homeless here. I don't have a job. But I can go from Sun Utes to Long Beach to Eagle Nest to Martin and go all over. And I don't need a government vehicle or the federal government. I just need to have a good heart and a good heart. So I have to thank you for listening. Great.